streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. If you take Wisconsin State Route 82 to get to work or school, you'll need to plan a different route next week. Starting Tuesday, Wisconsin State Route 82 between State Route 35 in DeSoto and State Route 27 will be closed for extensive road work. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation estimates the road will be closed until September 13th and the project will be finished by October 31st. WSDOT recommends you take Wisconsin State Route 56 and U.S. Route 14 as a way to get around the construction. When driving at night, you'll need to look for more than just deer. Last night, authorities in Vernon County responded to a truck versus black bear collision. Sheriff Roy Torgerson says a heavy duty pickup truck was heading east on Highway 82 when it hit the bear near the town of Union. The truck was towing a loaded trailer, which struck the bear. The approximately 145 pound bear was severely injured and had to be put down. The trailer sustained minor damage. A day of remembrance and gratitude at La Crosse Central High School today as the school hosted its 102nd annual Memorial Day program. The ceremony is believed to be the nation's longest running high school Memorial Day observance. It featured performances by the Central High School Color Guard, Flag Corps, Choir, Band and Chamber Orchestra. Navy veteran Brian Cole, who served aboard the aircraft carriers USS Forestroll and USS John F. Kennedy, delivered the main address. Principal Jeff Axness emphasized the importance of this observance in instilling a sense of gratitude, empathy, and respect in the next generation. Hey, good Friday afternoon to all of you. I thought we would start with a time lapse. We had some severe storms this morning across Iowa. Fortunately, if you were watching me this morning, I mentioned that the air was a little bit drier and more stable locally, so those storms really weakened. We did see some uh, weakened state showers and thunderstorm activity around 8 o'clock this morning in La Crosse, uh, but uh, only about a tenth of an inch of rain fell. And uh, the sky looks a little ominous yet this afternoon. Chance of more storms as we head through the afternoon. Dry and seasonable tomorrow, and then rain likely on Sunday. Now checking radar, you can see most of the storm activity right now is south and east of La Crosse, especially down into Crawford, Vernon and Richland counties and into southern Wisconsin. Now still watching uh, upstream kind of in this area, we could see a redevelopment of some showers and thunderstorms as there's been some partial sunshine there. Current temperatures generally in the mid 60s to near 70 degrees and we will see highs today right around 71. I've got a kind of a soft alert day in play, if you will. Uh, what that means is the severe threat isn't really great, but uh, we could see a few storms this afternoon, some of which could be strong, especially south and east and rather breezy as well. I'll have many more details, including a look at that holiday weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, we'll see you then. The UN's top court has concluded that Israel must hold its offensive immediately in Rafah. The order was read by the presiding judge at the International Court of Justice today, who classified the situation in Rafah as disastrous. The court also asked Israel to ensure access to UN fact-finding missions and other investigative bodies to investigate allegations of genocide and to open the Rafah border for humanitarian assistance. Under the Genocide Convention, Israel must immediately hold its military offensive and any other action in the Rafah governorate which may inflict on the Palestinian group in Gaza conditions of life that could bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. The country will have to submit a report within one month on progress related to those measures. Today marks the two-year anniversary of the tragic, deadly mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Several events and a vigil are planned throughout the day to remember the 19 students and two teachers killed in 2022. President Joe Biden wrote a letter to Uvalde residents saying in part, quote, while there are no words that will ease the pain, I pray you'll find comfort in reflecting on their memories, end quote. Ahead of the anniversary, a $2 million settlement was announced between the victims' families and the city. Oscar-nominated documentarian Morgan Spurlock died on Thursday due to cancer complications. Spurlock was best known for his controversial film Super Size Me, which sparked a national conversation over America's relationship with fast food. The film involved an experiment to measure the effect of consuming only food from McDonald's for 30 days. For several years, Spurlock served as host of the popular CNN original series Morgan Spurlock Inside Man. His family says the 53-year-old died in New York by family and friends. Some newly released video showing the moments before the world's number one golfer, Scotty Scheffler, was arrested last week in Louisville. 
Louisville Metro Police Department releasing two different angles showing part of the arrest, one from a fixed pole camera across the street, the other from a police cruiser's dash cam. The arrest happened last Friday morning as Scheffler was heading to the second round of the PGA Championship when he came to the scene of a fatal crash. Police say he injured an officer who was directing traffic when he tried to get around the scene, but Scheffler and his attorney say it was a misunderstanding. The angle of the arrest you won't see is from the arresting detective's body camera. That's because it wasn't turned on during the incident. His failure to do so is a violation of the LMPD policy on uniforms and equipment. That detective has since been disciplined. Scheffler was released without bail and still made it to tee off on, in the tournament on time. He's charged with felony second degree assault. The summer of the $5 value meal, another fast food chain announcing a discounted meal as customers battle rising prices amid inflation. We'll tell you what you can score for five bucks after the break. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale, where everything in our showroom has been reduced. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. Every week it costs more to feed my family. Prices are just out of control. Boy, inflation is really hurting us. It's got to stop. Career politicians like Biden and Baldwin just don't get it. They're making things harder for folks here in Wisconsin. By stopping the crazy spending that caused inflation and cutting red tape, we can bring prices down. It's time for a change. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message. I'll get the job done for Wisconsin families. No matter where I seat my guests, they seem to like the kitchen best. A kitchen's the heart of the home. It should be warm and welcoming. It should be attractive and functional. But it can be a real challenge unless, unless you come here where you can meet with a designer, find all of the products that you need, and trust the project to our carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. For kitchens, bathrooms, and other home improvements, put your trust in the board store home improvements. Contact us today. Your Touchstone Energy Cooperative knows safety is the backbone of reliability. To deliver the power you need means doing things right. So we can continue to provide reliable energy and peace of mind. Because safety runs through everything we do. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information story of a kinesiotherapist who rehabbed his golf game. I love golf. I have always played golf. Until he started having some mulligan level foot pain. Well, the, the golf game starts down with the feet, and if you don't have good support, you probably won't have a good golf swing. So he got fitted for good feet arch supports. It made a world of difference. Any advice for your fellow linksmen? Two words, the good feet store. How many words is that? <laughs> Try them for yourself with a free fitting at the good feet store. If you you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale, where everything in our showroom has been reduced. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. Welcome back. The NCAA and the five biggest conferences have agreed to pay nearly $2.8 billion to settle numerous antitrust claims. It's a decision that could allow schools to pay college athletes directly. In a statement, the head of the NCAA called the settlement, quote, an important step in the continuing reform of college sports. Burger King is the latest fast food chain that's planning to sell a $5 value meal. A company spokesperson says restaurants are planning to bring back the $5 your way meal that would include a choice of one of three sandwiches or nuggets with fries and a drink. The meal is expected to launch earlier and run longer than competitor McDonald's, which also announced plans to sell a $5 meal earlier this month. A Spotify device that lets users stream music over their car's sound system will stop working later this year. The music streaming service announcing the discontinuation of Car Thing, citing low product demand and supply chain issues. The product made it possible for users who don't have a built-in infotainment system in their cars to stream music using the Spotify mobile app. Spotify said the devices will stop working on December 9th, and there are no plans to release a new version. 
And Krispy Kreme is offering a sweet deal for the 38 million Americans expected to hit the road this Memorial Day weekend. Any customer who buys a dozen donuts or 16 count minis can get a second dozen original glazed donuts for $3.84. People who would prefer to order online or delivery can use the code ROADTRIP to take advantage of the deal. That wraps up your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Ashley's Memorial Day sale is going on now. Shop our biggest selection of hot buys, cool deals. Plus, get 0% interest for 60 months with no minimum purchase on all in-store purchases. Only at Ashley. Shop more deals in-store and online. How much was I paying a month for insulin? $185. $300. $400. I never expected anyone to do something about it. But then Tammy Baldwin did. She stood up to the drug companies and wrote a law capping the cost of insulin. Thanks to Tammy, now it just costs $35 a month. She made a huge difference for so many of us. She lifted a weight off all our shoulders. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Get ready for high-octane action. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions is back with its spring auction, May 31st and June 1st in Winona, Minnesota. Consigners, head to RemlingerAuctions.com to consign now and earn top dollar. Early consigners get the most exposure with our pre-qualified bidders ready to buy. Reserve your place today and be part of the excitement. Remlinger Collector Car Auctions, where every car has a story and every bid is an adventure. Ashley's Memorial Day mattress sale is going on now. Save big on adjustable mattress sets from Beautyrest Black, Purple, and Tempur-Pedic. Plus, get 0% interest for 72 months with select in-store mattress purchases for better sleep and savings. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com. When the threat is real. All right, we still have another tornado warning now. First warn weather is here for you. So we're going to continue to monitor this once again. It's in the name. Keeping you safe before and as it happens. And then for the morning commute, we're looking at heavy rain potential. First warn weather on News 8 Now. On air, in your hand, and online. When you need us. We'll continue to update you throughout the night with a severe weather outbreak. Children's mental health is worsened when their families are struggling financially. An Ohio State University study found economic difficulties caused by the COVID pandemic were linked to greater depression among parents, which led to harsher parenting behaviors. As a result, children reported more loneliness, anxiety, and crying. The COVID pandemic also caused a rare condition to surge and led to the deaths of nine people. Researchers with the University of Leeds say COVID can trigger MDA5 disease, which that's a condition which causes the immune system to attack itself. Now that the connection has been identified, doctors should be able to more accurately diagnose the rare disease. Are mental disorders transmissible? A study in Finland suggests they can be in some cases. They found that young people with mood, anxiety, and eating disorders often are part of social networks with friends who also have mental health disorders. But researchers say it's also possible the connection happens because young people are more likely to seek mental health treatment if their friends struggle with mental issues. Those were some of today's top health headlines. Taking a live look outside now from CityCam 8, Bill will be up next with a look at our holiday weekend forecast. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $500 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Tammy Baldwin is a hypocrite. During COVID, she told us to stay home, but used your money to fly to New York to live with her girlfriend at her lavish multi-million dollar apartment. Baldwin pretends she's for Wisconsin, then jets off to Hollywood to raise money from celebrities. And Baldwin says she's cleaning up Congress, but hires lobbyists to her DC staff. Two-Faced Tammy, a hypocrite we can't trust. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Visit Cooley Cards and Gaming in Onalaska. Whether you're looking to buy or sell basic or investment level sports, trading, or gaming cards, Cooley Cards and Gaming is your place. If you're more into autographed or game-used horse memorabilia, we have it all. 
weekly trading card tournaments, and beginner games on Sundays. We're open seven days a week, so stop on in. Come on down to Cooley Cars in the gaming to turn your old cars to cash and explore ourselves for exciting additions to your collection. Your cars deserve a new adventure, and so do you. Located in Valley Plaza on Alaska. Are you or a loved one having troubles getting in and out of the bathtub safely? Has the high cost of remodeling left you without options? I'm Tim with Tri-State Tub to Shower Conversions and I've been serving the Tri-State area since 1992. And I would love to make your bathing experience safe and affordable. We use your existing tub and remove the front section for easy accessibility. And for an affordable cost, call today. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns & Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows, installed by our experienced team. Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. Hey, welcome back. A happy Friday to all of you. Start, I thought we would start with a drought monitor. And as you would expect, uh, drought conditions continue to improve big time. Uh, no more extreme drought, no more severe drought, just a little pocket of moderate drought between La Crosse and Madison and a pocket of moderate drought over portions of northeastern Iowa as well. But from La Crosse up through Winona, Black River Falls, Eau Claire, the Twin Cities and Wausau, out of drought conditions now. And this doesn't even include the rain that fell on Tuesday of this past week and uh, early this morning as well. Kind of an ominous sky out there, 67 and 59 the numbers so far today. Averages are 75 and 53, 93 and 34 the records. Uh, only .06 inches of rain fell out at the La Crosse Airport. Those strong storms as they raced out of Iowa really weakened this morning as they ran into some much drier air. Pair of 67s at the airport and downtown at the station with the cloudy skies. Breezy south to southeast winds at 17 in the Mississippi starting to rise again 7.85 feet. Eau Claire, it's dark, now it's not, <laughs> 69 degrees with a mostly cloudy sky. Winds out of the south southeast at 13 gusting to 25 and the Chippewa River uh, is now falling after it uh, came up over the past couple of days. All right current temperatures primarily in the mid to upper 60s uh, up towards uh, Red Wing 70 uh, in Red Wing Minnesota. Dew points in the upper 50s to lower 60s so a little sticky for some of you. You tend to start to feel that humidity when dew points climb above 60 degrees and that also fuels some additional thunderstorm chances. Uh, winds out of the south and south southeast at 10 to 20 gusting upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour in some spots and that trend will continue through the evening before winds start to die down overnight. Now checking radar pretty quiet locally some showers and thunderstorms down to the south and east portions of uh, Crawford and Richland counties, especially over southern Wisconsin, some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. Uh, but uh, more storms are possible as a fairly vigorous low up near Fargo, North Dakota, uh, continues to lift a couple of frontal boundaries uh, near the region. In fact, this warm front is close enough that uh, we're going to have to watch that in case it activates this afternoon with some more showers and thunderstorms. Sky Tracker will show that chance happening. Uh, especially over southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois. I think that's where the highest threat is for some strong to severe storms, but even central and southeastern parts of the state could see some stronger storms. Clearing tonight, and that's going to set the stage for a beautiful Saturday. Unfortunately, it doesn't last into Sunday as we do have a good chance of some rain moving through as we head into Sunday morning and uh, midday of uh, our Sunday. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has a, a level one risk. Again, it only includes a lacrosse and points south and east level two risk over southern Wisconsin. Local timing through 6 p.m. with gusty winds and hail, the main threats may be an isolated tornado in that yellow shaded areas to our south and east. Rain tracker showing uh, more rainfall potential, especially to the south and east of La Crosse. Quick check of those temperatures for today. Uh, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday because of the clouds and the rain chances. Lower 70s far south. The rest of us in the uh, mid 60s to lower 70s. Chilliest, uh, well I shouldn't say chilly, coolest readings to the far north, 65 in Lady Smith. So for today, that soft alert day, there's a chance for some strong to severe storms with the better chances are south and east. Rather breezy, 71 for the high. Uh, breezy this evening, then decreasing clouds, winds, and cooler overnight, 47. Tomorrow, nice day, 76. Rain likely, unfortunately, Sunday. Uh, just a small chance of showers on Memorial Day and Tuesday. Cooler Sunday in the 60s, otherwise 70s much of next week. Wednesday and Thursday looking dry and some additional low-end rain chances next
next Friday and Saturday. But uh, keep an eye on the radar and the sky this afternoon through about dinner time just in case. Alexandra. All right, Bill, thank you. 80 years after Richard Bong's P-38 March crashed in Papua New Guinea, the wreckage has been found. After the break, we'll bring you the incredible story of the expedition that led to this remarkable discovery and what it means for the ace pilot's family. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. During Holmes Memorial Day sale, get an extra 10% off sale prices or no interest financing for three years. Plus, get hot buys like this two-piece sectional for $9.99 or this queen bedroom suite for $7.59. The Memorial Day sale at Home Furniture. Plus, shop homefurniture.com every day. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. An 11% rebate on everything for your garden at Menards. Start your garden up right with quality seeds from Burpee. Choose from over 450 varieties of flowers, vegetables, and herbs. Right now, all Burpee seed packets are on sale. Plus, get an 11% rebate. Finish your garden with terrace board landscape edging. It's easy to install and blocks the spreading of grass and weeds. A 40-foot roll of terrace board edging is $14.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. During the Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express, save up to $500 on Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Get no interest financing for five years, plus a $300 shopping card with free delivery and setup. The Tempur-Pedic Memorial Day sale, now at Home Sleep Express. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Many World War II historians regard Richard Bong as America's top ace in World War II. The fighter pilot is credited with shooting down 40 Japanese planes during the war. But what happened to his plane has remained a mystery for decades until now. John Loritzen is in Superior to show us how the big mystery has now been solved. This has been a long, long saga, shall we say, for many of us along the road. Richard I. Bong was known as an ace pilot during World War II. He loved planes and he loved his girlfriend, Marge. So much so that he painted her face on his P-38. But 80 years ago, the plane crashed into the jungles of Papua New Guinea. From that point forward, its existence pretty much remained a mystery. Lieutenant Thomas Malone was the pilot that day. He bailed out and survived. And from then on, there was a mission to find March. A few months ago, the Bong Center reached out to Pacific Rex, a group that works to solve World War II mysteries. This has uh, been an incredible journey, incredible expedition. Zooming from Medang province, Justin Talen talked about working with locals and hiking through jungles before they finally caught a break. When we located the crash site, it was an amazing experience. The plane was found in a jungle ravine. It hit the ground so hard that most of its engines were buried in the dirt. But they saw red paint, which is a color on the P-38 Marge plane. And as they dug further, they finally found the serial number, leaving no doubt it was Bong's plane. And it's very common in the Army Air Force in World War II that planes would be abbreviated with the last three digits of the serial number. The emotion that I felt was not just my own joy, but imagining what this means for the Bong family. In the audience for the Zoom press conference was Richard Bong's 99-year-old sister, Jerry. While it's mission accomplished for the expedition, she would love to bring a part of March home. It's great to know it's been found. We saw the pictures of it, so we know it's the right one. It's great to know that it's been discovered. In Superior, Wisconsin, John Lordson, WCCO News. Bong died during a test flight back here in the United States when he was just 24 years old. Stay with us. We'll have one more final check of your forecast when we come back. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale, where every 
everything in our showroom has been reduced. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. Coachman RV Lacrosse is now open in Onalaska. Visit Wisconsin's premier Coachman dealer specializing in the sales and service of the Coachman lineup, including brands like Adrenaline, Entourage, Concord, Leprechaun, and more, along with a large selection of quality pre-owned RVs. Plus, as part of the Camping World Dealer Network, you will have access to our national network of lenders, nationwide service network, and all of the Good Sam products and services. We can't wait to serve you at Coachman RV Lacrosse. When patients want to address their smoking or vaping, doctors refer them to smokefree.gov for free help. Chat online with an expert. Build your plan to address smoking, vaping, or chewing tobacco. Sign up for free texts from people like you. Doctors know they go at your pace. Visit smokefree.gov. That's smokefree.gov. Smokefree.gov. Ever wish you had a little help helping mom? Meet Nomo. Nomo lets you check on mom even when you can't check in person. Nomo's no camera motion sensors check mom's normal motion in her home. You check the Nomo app. Mom get out of bed, open the fridge. With Nomo, you know. Maybe you can't be there, but you can still care. No more worry less with Nomo. Nomo Smart Care, N-O-M-O -O, Smart Care. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale, where everything in our showroom has been reduced. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. Download the News 8000 app today. The main storm action right now down towards the Wisconsin River into central Wisconsin, but starting to see a little bit of a redevelopment off to the uh, south and west here uh, with some uh, hit and miss showers and thunderstorms over southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa. So we'll keep an eye on those. I'm not sure the atmosphere is going to have time to recover for those to go strong, but a uh, soft alert day just in case a few do. Rather breezy, 71 for the high. Dry and nice tomorrow, 76. Rain likely Sunday, cooler 60s. Small chance of showers on Memorial Day. All right, Bill, thank you. Thanks for joining us.